What's going on everybody? If you are new here, my name is Mateo and I travel full time in my 2001 Ford Econoline with my cat Lars. And today we are at a hip camp, just kind of chilling. Um, not many people here, it's really peaceful. Me and Lars have just been hanging out. By the time you guys see this, it should be fall time. So I just wanted to get prepared and clean up my living space and just have a good peaceful day hanging out with Lars he's been off the leash all day actually like at least for like four hours now and he honestly oh <laughs> he heard his name <laughs> he's been off leash all day and he's been being so good there's only one other camper here and they don't have any dogs or anything like that so I've been having him loose he's been staying close by which has been great i love that he doesn't stray too far but um yeah just got some cleaning done and i'm getting ready to make some dinner and since it's fall time i really wanted to do something that i've never done that feels like really autumn vibes you know brown leaves and i asked you guys what meal you thought i should make and a lot of people said they think i should make chili and fun fact about me is i've never made a chili before in my life so I wanted to try that out, but I am not a fan of ground beef, like just like eating like chili. So I wanted to do something that would be better for me as far as taste goes. So I did some research and I found a recipe for a meal called chili con carne, which is like the Mexican Spanish version of chili. Um, and a lot of the times they use like actual meat like hunks of meat that you just stew until they get really really break down soft and that's right up my alley so i'm gonna do a mixture of like traditional chili mixed with chili con carne and my own little twist i'm gonna be doing pumpkin spice chili on top of pumpkin spice cinnamon rolls which sounds weird i i've never had chili on top of cinnamon rolls but a lot of people do it and I guess we're gonna be trying it out today so yeah let's get started on making a beautiful meal to celebrate the beginning of fall all right guys so as far as ingredients go I've got basic salt and pepper I've also got some red yellow green peppers some little potato tomatoes uh tomato paste got some jalapenos for the beans because i am going to add beans i know a lot of people don't like to add beans but i'm gonna add beans because why not i'm adding some kidney beans um got some beef broth chopped tomatoes got an onion garlic some Italian seasonings, chili powder, smoked paprika. Also gonna be adding some chipotle pepper. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's get started on making our first ever chili. <laughs> Perfect little bite-sized pieces. 
Now we need to generously salt and pepper this. All right, while that does its thing, I'm gonna chop up some onion, garlic, and jalapeno. By the way, if you guys see me do anything crazy, I've never made chili before and I'm also not looking at any recipe whatsoever. I just looked up um, a couple ways to make con carne and a couple ways to make chili, but I don't know any of the measurements. I'm just gonna go with what feels good and hopefully <laughs> this doesn't turn out terribly. All right, so I have a secret ingredient for this chili. I noticed a lot of times when I saw people making chili on TikTok when I was watching last night, a few people added beer to it, and <laughs> I think I have the perfect beer for this occasion. Pumpkin spice ale. I think there's no better beer <laughs> to add to this chili. Ugh. So I'm just gonna add a little splash and then we're just gonna wait for it to get done. And I'll probably throw the beans in probably 30 minutes before the whole thing's done, since they're already, you know, canned beans. This smells so good, man. <laughs> I wish you guys could smell this right now. I know that's not how that works, but maybe one day. We've got 3D printing, maybe we'll get like 3D scents. That would be sick. That would be really cool for like cooking videos. If somehow you could smell what I'm cooking, that'd be awesome. But while I am waiting for the food to get done, I really wanted to show you guys something that I found while thrifting. I think this is like an ultra rare find. Tell me if you guys agree. Oh. This is a Q chord by Suzuki from the 80s. I mean, <laughs> this is like 
like an OG instrument that like not a lot of people know about. It's pretty rare, but let me show you guys how, how it actually sounds. It sounds definitely 80s, but the cool thing about this thing is you can actually like automate it to pretty much play how you want it to play. So I don't know this thing's pretty cool and i think there's like so many things i can do with this that i can actually make like background music and stuff like that if i hook it up to like my other instruments and stuff like that i think i can do some pretty cool stuff with this thing so this is the newest entry into my arsenal of instruments i have my guitar i have my accordion which i had to leave at my sister's house because i didn't have the space for it but i still do want to eventually make space to bring like more instruments on the road because i really want to turn this van into like a little recording studio so i can start recording stuff in here I'm just gonna play with some more music and um, wait for the food to get done. <laughs> So the chili's just about done, so now it's time to make the pumpkin spice cinnamon rolls. And I'm going to start by opening this container, which always kind of scares me. It's 2024, we should have an easier way to open these things, like really. Okay, that wasn't bad. <laughs> All right, let's get these put on the tray and into the oven. Okay, the chili is done. And the cinnamon rolls are too. Let's get everything assembled.
Okay. So this is what the meal's looking like. This is the uh, chili and cinnamon roll, which is, a, I think it's a South Dakota thing. I've never had it. I've never known anyone who's made it. It smells incredible. I'll give it that. But I'd be lying if I said this wasn't a weird combination. <laughs> And obviously, uh, I'm not going to eat all the cinnamon rolls. I was hoping that my neighbors would be here. Their car's gone. But it's like a woman and her son. So if they come back um, before I leave tomorrow, I will offer them some. But uh, yeah, let's try this chili first. Going into this, I will admit, I've never been a huge fan of chili. It's just not a meal that I've ever really gravitated towards. But... That's why I try to add my own little twist to it and we'll see how it goes. Cheers. I will say for a person that doesn't like chili, this is definitely one of the better chilies I've ever had. It's packed with flavor. I definitely am glad that I used the actual chunks of beef instead of ground beef because i'm not a fan of like ground beef chili but it's so tender it falls apart like instantly there's chunks of peppers and jalapenos for that extra spice i mean it's good this is definitely a chili that i could eat i will be honest and now i guess it's time to uh try the combination of both of them together i guess i'll just get like a spoonful of the roll and then dip it into the yeah let's just try it Have you guys tried this before? Let me know. Because I feel like I've never heard of anyone trying this. And I definitely, I definitely don't know if uh, it's supposed to be good. I just know it's what people do somewhere in America. Cheers. Okay, I gotta try that again. I'm just really confused. <laughs> I'm really confused by that. Um, it's not nasty. It tastes like you're eating a good cinnamon roll with some good chili. But I don't know why I would do that. I don't know why I would go out of my way to do that. I'd rather have like a cinnamon roll in the morning with coffee and then maybe chili at night when it's cold. Mix them together. I don't know. That's... I mean, it's not, it's not nasty at all. It just seems like wildly unnecessary, <laughs> if that makes sense. It's like, yeah, you can add a cinnamon roll to your chili, but you could also just like eat a cinnamon roll for dessert after your chili. Mixing them together in the same bowl, it just seems superfluous. There's no food I won't try once, and the chili is really good, and the cinnamon rolls are really good, but I think I'll probably keep them separate. <laughs> I'll probably eat the chili for dinner and have a cinnamon roll in the morning. Um, yeah, so to give that a score, God, this is definitely probably going to be like my lowest rated score of a meal that I've made, only because it's just so confusing, but I'll give it... <sighs> I'll give it a 6.8. 6.8, I think this sounds fair. Yeah, 6.8. It's good. I wouldn't do it again, like, on my own. If I was out somewhere and, like, like it was on the menu and it looked good at the moment, maybe I'll try it again, but I'll probably never make it again just to add it together. But, yeah, uh, I really wanted to make a good, hearty dish to bring in 
autumn. I think chili is a great dish to make. I've never made it before, so I'm happy that I was able to make my first batch of chili. It turned out really, really well. Um, never made chili before. I didn't even read a recipe. I just went by what I think it should taste like, and it turned out great. I think fall has to be my favorite season. I love the winter time. Um, I love snow and all that, but honestly, you can find snow in fall. I remember last year when I was in Bend, Oregon, it, it started snowing in like mid-October, which I was surprised by. That was crazy. So, like if I had to choose one season to have for the rest of my life, I'd, I'd choose fall easy. The weather's good. It's not hot. It's not too cold. You get nice breezes and nice cloudy days and nice bright sunshiny days i don't know everything feels so crisp i i love fall and i would definitely choose fall if i could only have one season for the rest of my life let me know in the comments what you would have if you could only choose one season to have for like the rest of like your life it just was every day was that season what season would you choose let me know but yeah i'm gonna probably throw on a movie and enjoy the rest of this chili um october's coming up and i have made a personal goal to watch, I think, 62 horror movies. Um, there's a YouTuber that I love to watch. Um, his name is Meat Canyon, and he went live yesterday and made a list of, like, 62 movies to watch, like, two a day in the month of October. And I'm going to try. I, I'm sure I won't be able to watch them all, but I'm going to try to get through as much of that list as, as I possibly can because... I love to watch movies. I used to watch movies every single day when I was like in my 20s. I would make, I would watch movies every single day and then I would make music every single day. And I don't know, just having to work and like going to work for like so many years just got me out of that routine. And now I'm trying to, since I do have a lot more free time, which I'm blessed to have, I'm trying to like get back into things that I loved to do and still do love. So I'm going to try to see if I can watch 62 horror movies um, for the month of October. And I'll keep you guys updated on what I watch and what I score it. But yeah, let me know what you guys wanna see me do during the fall time. My favorite season, let me know what you would love to see, where you wanna see me go. I am planning on hitting the East pretty soon. So if there's any like food spots or like national parks or like things you want me, me to make, bake or create, or anything like that, let me know down in the comments. But yeah, I'm gonna throw on a movie and finish this chili and I'll see you guys in the morning.
job. <laughs> Good job, Bubby. I think me and Lars are just gonna chill on the roof for a bit. So <laughs> I think that's gonna do it for me today. If you made it this far, I really appreciate you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, until next time, peace. Thank <laughs> you.